Okay, so back to AP Calculus AB, related rates number 15. Uh, this is an area problem. It says the radius R of a circle is increasing at a rate of 3 centimeters per minute. Find the rate of change when A, R is equal to 6, and B, R is equal to 24. So, what's this R value here? Start with this. What is the area, <clears throat> what is the area of a circle? And the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, right? Also, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this fact here, and I'm going to use this before I forget about it, and I'm going to say that the change of radius due to time is equal to 3 centimeters per minute, isn't it? So I'm going to combine those things in just a second. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative here. So I'm going to say, what is the derivative of area with regard to time? And, the re and that would be the derivative of this is 2 times pi is 2 pi r, right, times dr dt. And I think that was really, really easy. And sometimes these problems do. They work out really easily and sometimes not so much. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my problem. And the things I'm going to be careful about here is that, one, that I answer the question that was asked of me. Uh, and two, that I put it in, in terms um, that my AP reader is going to accept. So I'm going to say when r is equal to 6, well, then the derivative of area with regard to time, the rate of change of area with regard to time is 2 times pi. R is 6, isn't it? And remember, we have this 3, so that's this 3 right here. And if you do this little bit of multiplication, I think we get uh, 36. So we get 36 pi. This is crucial. Centimeters squared per minute. Right? This is really crucial because when your AP reader reads this, it's the damnedest thing that sometimes they're honestly looking for a way to just nick something off your point because they don't want too many people to get fives. So just putting this little bit of extra here is really going to help them to give you the points that you deserve. So please make a note of that. And then we're just going to do the same thing with part B. And it says what happens when the radius is 24. And you can see that it works out exactly uh, by the same type of mathematics. Is that we get 2 pi times the radius, which now is 24, times 3, which is our dr dt, and that is equal to uh, 144 centimeters squared per minute. If that's bad math, please let me know. Okay, so that's another related rates problem. Once you've seen a million of them, you'll get great at this. It's really worth it because I don't see any way that you're going to get through the AP Cal exam AB without seeing something to do with that. If you just look back historically, things just shows up over and over. So good work, and I hope you're subscribed to my channel.